You're listening to Wisdom for the Rest of Us, a journey in search of wisdom that we can all use in our daily lives. I'm E.T. Hansen, but you can call me Eric. The Wisdom of 101 Famous Poems These are my thoughts on why I love women and men. This is my rant for Valentine's Day. There are one or two poems in uh, 101 Famous Poems that you can consider love poems. And one of them, uh, maybe the most beautiful, is uh, William Wordsworth. She was a phantom of delight. And in it, he, he tells about falling in love with a woman because she seems so otherworldly, so not of this world. A phantom of delight, an angel, a spirit. And then, and then, of course, they get married, and the second phase comes in, and, and he, you know, finds out that she's a human being, yet still graceful. And and uh, and I wrote an essay about this, about this subject, and a uh, kind of a whimsical essay. Uh, you can listen to the essay and to the uh, and to the poem on uh, on vimeo.com slash hula inc. Uh, it's a it's a you know straight out essay, straight out poem. I read the poem on, on the video, and um, but but this this idea fascinates me and always fascinated me that we men never see women as they really are we never see them as human beings and and it's got to be just the hormones you know the hormones or something switches over and we see the the entire the otherness of women we don't see them you know uh picking their noses and farting we don't we don't see them uh you know with their self-doubts and their uh ambitions and their little lies they make to themselves and make to others and their little conceits and their little uh you know the, the little things they have to tell themselves just to get through life we don't see any of that because we we think they don't do that. We do that, but they don't do that. We lie to ourselves constantly, and we're constantly worried about, you know, things like uh, success and being accepted, and and uh, and we're constantly thrown into depression if something goes wrong. And but girls don't do that. They're like always laughing and happy. They always enjoy life, and they always and they're wise. Somehow, women are wise. They I, I don't know why. Why why would they be wiser than men? They go through life. They have the exact same experiences as men, but somehow they're wise. You know, you you t- ask them. You say you confide in them your your hopes and fears, and they say, "Oh, just be yourself." And you think, "Oh, that's it's just a saying." You know, it's just a saying that they picked up. But you think, "Oh, that's that's wisdom. It's like a godlike wisdom. It's like the she could write the Bible," and and. And we're fooled into thinking that women are some kind of not only much different than men, but also superior in many ways than men. And it's the hormones, of course. And, uh, you know, you, you and, and of course, it's not true. And, and the other way around, it's not true, too. Probably women think that men are much different than they are. I think sometimes I have the feeling that they think we're much worse than we are. You know, they don't see us as we really are. They see us as 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 as, as they, they see us in nightmares or something. I, I don't know. I don't know how women look at men. But but I but I, I do know that men do not see women the way they really are. And, you know. I gotta say, I like it that way. Not just because I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to despair to women as they really are. I'm not trying to say that's horrible. Women without makeup, you know, without the the facade, without the hormones, they just can't take them. They would be. They would be in a way. In a way, I, I am saying that. I mean, they would be too much like us. You know, imagine I, if I were imagine if I could imagine living together with uh, myself. It would be to be a nightmare. I would just hate it. I would hate myself. I would see everything that's wrong with me. I would hate myself. Uh, you know, it would just be a. It would just be a horrible. And and so, but these hormones, you know, tell me I'm not living together with another human being. You know, sometimes she's aggravating and annoying, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and and but but that's kind of always the exception. Basically, she's kind of like a, an angel who is kind of you know has the patience and is kind of stooping to live with me basically that's what my hormones are telling me and that's kind of like the general the general conception that men have about women i believe and maybe there's a similar thing the other way around but so so i guess i guess there is a you know i guess maybe this is nature's way of of 
letting us live together for at least as long as it takes to, you know, to have children and reproduce. Maybe this is nature, you know, if, if we did see each other as we really are, we would hate each other so much we would never reproduce and nature would fail, right? So, so maybe that is nature, you know, tricking us into liking each other. But at the same time, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for seeing women mainly largely from their good sides, from the romantic side, from the side that, you know, is not quite the human, not quite animal, not quite like me, not quite with earthly cares. Of course, of course, she is, she does have earthly cares and I get that, you know, and there's no, I mean, we talk about normal earthly things. It's not, I'm not living in a fantasy world here, but, but the basic conception of women is, is a little bit unrealistic. And I'm glad for that because if I were to see a woman as I see a man, it would just be a little bit disappointing. And and this is what makes it possible for men to write love poems about women. Because, because we see that thing that you, you can write love poetry about. You can't write love poetry about yourself. You look at yourself... You know, there's not much to love. Someone else looks at you and loves you, then she she's the one who can write love poetry about you. You were the one that can write love poetry about her. And that's a good thing. The, the ability to romanticize each other makes us... makes us appreciate the sides of humanity that is not there every day and not always visible. But we do have a romantic, a beautiful side, all of us. And I'm, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for the hormones that, you know, give me the, you know, a, a, a taint my glasses when I look at women. I'm, I'm glad for, I'm grateful for the love poetry out there. People who write po love poems. It's mainly, and it's mainly men, I, I think largely men who write love poems about women. I, I'm, maybe I'm mistaken. I haven't taken a poll. You know, I haven't done a study about how many love poems are written by men about women and how many love poems are written by women about men. But I'm kind of assuming that. I'm kind of thinking in my experience, uh, it'll probably be, you know, 10 to 1. For every 10 love poems a man writes about a woman, one woman writes one love poem about a man they write i'm sure they write a lot of love poems about you know how disappointing men are and how they men break their heart and how you know you broke my heart but i'm still i'm still a strong woman i they write a lot about those poetries but they i i, I knew very few i know a few but very few love poems written by love by women praising men and saying you know you are a phantom of delight i love the way you move i love everything you do it's it's a, a, you're a miracle to me but that's what a love poem is and it's kind of sad that women don't do that or at least that much about men and i'm glad men that men and i'm glad men write love poems about women because they deserve it the women deserve it but i think the men deserve it also frankly I mean, we can, you know, there's all this right now. There's a lot of toxic mass talk about toxic masculinity and a complaint about men. But in fact, men are wondrous creatures also. And they're, they really, they do, you know, for every bad thing they do, they do 10 things right. You know, it's like 90, 99% good things that men do. It's, I really, knowing men, knowing the, the men I know, they're really good people. And, they're beautiful in so many ways. And it's sad that more love poetry is not written about them. So if I, I'm not a poet, but if I were a poet and I were to write a love poem about women, I would praise them for, I would praise them for their grace. They do have a grace. They can dance. Men can't dance. Well, I guess men can dance, but it's mainly women who dance. Women have a natural grace and they love their grace and they practice it and they have style and they they pay attention to their style and making themselves beautiful because that makes the world beautiful and that's what men can't do as much and and they are women are personable and warm-hearted and tend to be 
see the happy things about life. That's how I see women. Uh, they're, they're not always like, there are plenty of depressive alcoholic women out there, but I, I see mainly the women who who radiate life. And, and I love that. And I get hope from that. I love their touch. I love their laugh. I love their voice. I love the way they walk. I love being in the room with them. I, 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 I love that when I meet a woman, she's open to meeting me. When I meet a man, He's open to competing with me. He's cautious. There could be danger, and I'm cautious about him. But a woman puts us at ease. At least she puts a man at ease. And I'm grateful for that. A feminist might say, well, the, yeah, that's because of the patriarchy. But I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to have one half of mankind who are maybe a little bit, bit easier to be around because it's really good for the soul to be around women. And I think they are a little bit wiser. They pay a little bit more attention to health, to longevity, to the details of life that make life good, to enjoying life. I'm a guy, I'm a workaholic. I work and work and work. I, my, my, I directed, my mind is always oriented toward work and success and outcome. And uh, the very few vacations I've been through to on life, which I remember like every minute of, no, well, I'm exaggerating, but I remember these vacations with great joy. I was talked into it or even forced into it by a woman because she said, I want to, I want to enjoy life. And I say, well, you know, we, we, there will be time to enjoy life after we finish this next book. And she says, no, I want to enjoy life now. I want to go to the beach. And we're going to get, we have a, I have an opportunity to go to Tenerife, you know, with a cheap flight and a cheap hotel, and we're doing it. And she forced me to do it. And I, and you know, when I'm there, I just, it's beautiful. And it's wonderful. I love it. I just relax. And it's the best time of my life. It's one of the few times I live. And this moment of living life and enjoying life just for life, in my experience, that comes from women. At least in my life, it's been that way. And if I were to write a love poem about women, those are the things I would put in it. And you know what? If I were to write a love poem about men, I would put different things in it, but it would still be a love poem. Because men are just as beautiful and just as wonderful, and I really like and appreciate and admire men. And if I were to write a love poem about men, I would put... I would praise their competitiveness. I would compete. I would praise their their urge to create and destroy, to make something new, to imprint their will upon the world. This this fierce muscular activity and willpower to to make a place for themselves. And for the family, for the ones they love, is admirable and and great, and and I love it. It's like it's like a primal strength. It's like the 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 it's like the 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 the, the leopard chasing the antelope. That seems to be even though the the actual leopards who chase antelopes, I think, are the females, right? It's the in the cat world, isn't the female who does the actual work? Well, still, having said that, that seems to me manly when i see that in a man i admire that i love that ambition i love their urge to protect they have women like talking about how you know all men are evil and then they beat and the rape culture and all that but in my experience men have a primal urge to protect women and to protect the family it's it's an amazing overpowering urge and i'm there are plenty of deadbeat men out there. But when a man is in love, he will do a lot. He will do anything for that love. And I admire that. Men have a physical grace in their awkwardness. They're a little bit clumsy. But I find that endearing. They're clumsy in a powerful way. They're determined 
and that determination is a kind of strength and they love their strength and live for their strength they live for their ambition they live for their goal orientation they live often for achievement and i admire that and if i were to write a love poem about men I would put all of that into it. E.T. Hansen, that's me, is an American writer from Hawaii living in Berlin. I write novels and nonfiction in German and English. I teach the art of fiction and I podcast about life and language and seeking wisdom. For more information, check out our publishing website, Hula Inc. Dot com. That's H-U-L-A, like the dance, I-N-K, like the printed page, in one word, hulainc.com. The music in this video was performed by our producer and editor, Lothar Rosengarten. Lothar is a musician who lives and performs in Berlin. For more information about him, please visit his website, lothar-rosengarten.de. That's L-O-T-H-A-R- R O S E N G A R T E N dot D E. You can support Hula Inc. and Lotar and me by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Hula Inc. And don't forget to share our videos and our podcasts and subscribe to this podcast and to vimeo.com slash Hula Inc. But mostly we just hope that you enjoy and have something from our work. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, and we wish you all the love, luck, and happiness in this world.